Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Hello, everyone. My name is Nuno João. I'm the general manager of Your Way Education. And today we have Vanessa from London International School, who will present this wonderful school in, in London, Ontario. And we have Regina from our office in Spain, and I'm representing Portuguese and Brazilian uh, students and families. So just to brief you uh, about Your Way, just our contacts. Um, we are, this is our ID card. We are an international company. Uh, very personalized. We place 75 students per year. These are our numbers for this year from Portugal, Spain, Hungary and Brazil. We are focusing on high school programs and we want them to be high quality and personalized. And these are our contacts. You can, after this webinar, you can contact us. Uh, the, the, our email is the same, info.yourwayeducation and you put right down the, the ISO code for your country or Portugal, or Spain, or Hungary, or Brazil. So I will stop my presentation and uh, kindly invite Vanessa to present uh, London International Academy. Perfect. Well, thank you for having me, and I'm very excited to present um, this school to you, um, all of you guys that are watching. Um, I'd like to just start by going through a little slide deck that uh, we've prepared here. Um, and yes, if you have any questions about this afterwards, make sure to contact uh, Nuno and his team uh, and uh, they'll get you set up um, with special promotions that you can only get through um, our partners Thank here, you. our agency. So um, please go through them. Uh, okay, so I will start our presentation. So we are a Canadian private secondary day and boarding school. So what that means is that we offer both homestay and boarding options for our students. And we are an authorized IB world school. So we offer two programs. We offer the Ontario secondary school diploma, which I'll explain later. And we also offer the international baccalaureate diploma program. Um, so we're just gonna start by going through some of our rankings as a school. So we are the only private school in London to offer the IB diploma program. So uh, if you're looking at schools in London, Ontario, we are the only school to offer uh, the IB diploma program. We are the only private school in the province of Ontario to offer DP Spanish, which is a course that you can take in the IB program as like a second language. Um, mm -hmm. We are one of only 16 private schools in Ontario to offer the diploma program. Um, our school ranks in the top uh, three schools um, out of all the province in math science competitions. Um, we also compete in STEM and robotics competitions um, where we uh, always place within the top uh, three or five schools in the province. So, if you're watching this presentation, you clearly have an interest in coming to Canada. And I think that's an excellent choice. Um, there is becoming so much more popular now to uh, study in Canada. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Some of them are listed here. Our top five um, reasons international students are choosing Canada is the quality of the Canadian education system, um, our reputation as a tolerant and non-discriminatory society, uh, we have a reputation of being a very safe country. Um, we have postgraduate work permits um, and other opportunities for students, um, you know, after mm -hmm. graduation. And so what that means for you as a student, if you were to enroll in our school, that means that you can, um, when you're applying for universities, once you graduate with us, your application is seen as a Canadian student. So you get to apply through the same portal as all other Canadian students. So that means that your application is looked at um, and there's more opportunities, more spots mm -hmm. available mm -hmm. in certain programs over international students applying from abroad. So that means that our students get multiple offers. They get lots of different scholarship options. Um, so it's that's why a lot of students are now choosing to come to high school before going into University mm -hmm. of Canada. It's giving them more options, more flexibility, 100% of our graduates get offers into either their first, second uh, choice universities, um, and we will make sure that you get into the program that you want. So that's a great reason uh, right there if you're looking at uh, Canadian universities. 
education wise, um, there is about, it's I think growing now on 600,000 uh, international students. And in the next few years, um, they're expecting about a million international students, new international students coming in um, to Canada. Um, some of the rankings here of uh, world universities um, and how Canada places into those are top universities of University mm -hmm. of Toronto, University of British Columbia, McGill University, McMaster University are the top four uh, Canadian schools. So a question we get a lot is where is London, Ontario? So you may have heard of London, England, but we are London, Ontario, Canada. Um, and lots of similarities, actually. Uh, we have some of the same street names. Uh, you'll notice it throughout the presentation. I make a reference to Hyde Park and Victoria Park, Covenant Garden Market, uh, which is right across the street from the school. Um, so we have a lot of similarities, but we are located in the southern uh, western part of Ontario. So you'll see here the province of Ontario, and then right here at the bottom, where uh, we're mm -hmm. close to Toronto and Niagara Falls, two hours from Toronto and two hours from Niagara Falls. Okay. So Forest City is what uh, they call London, Ontario. It's a slow paced, welcoming atmosphere, um, has some of the best medical and educational resources in the province. It's a great city for high school students and newcomers to Canada. We have some of the best um, post-secondary institutions, um, including uh, Western University, Fanshawe College, Ivy Business School is one of the best business schools in Canada, and it's just located right here in London. Mm -hmm. um, population of London is about 500,000 um, people. So our campus is a central location, urban facilities. Uh, so we're not your typical boarding school where, you know, there's a picket fence uh, and a, a green, green grass around mm -hmm. us. We are really centrally located, which provides students the opportunities to be in the community of London um, and, and be a part of the city. And so there's lots of um, places that the students can uh, easily walk to and uh, our students become very independent uh, prior to going into university. So uh, we are founded in 2002. Um, we are also, so as I said, an Ivy World School authorized Ontario Ministry of Education inspected private high school, uh, Cambridge Assessment Testing Center, Advanced Placement Testing Center, SAT, test center and an IELTS test center. Um, so we offer those grades nine to 12, approximately ages 14 to 17. Population of our school is about 200 students. Um, they're mainly international. We do have Canadian students at our school, um, but uh, yeah, we do cater to our international students. Um, so this is where some of our students have come from uh, and are currently uh, coming from. So. Um, you'll see here, uh, we have uh, a list here of, uh, you know, a very international population. Mm -hmm. And so it's a very diverse population. And what that means for you as a student coming to our school is that you're going to be surrounded with like-minded students who have also traveled far from their home uh, country and they're now in Canada. And so you will make friends very quickly because you were all going into uh, living together in a boarding facility. You share similar interests and, and different backgrounds, but uh, one common interest, um, and that's being in Canada and you're there to study and uh, you know go to university afterwards. So um, I think that's a real benefit and our, our students uh, make connections very, very easily. So if you're worried about making friends, do not because mm -hmm. that won't be, won't be an issue. Um, this just gives you an idea between the difference between public and private schools in Canada. So when you're looking at public schools, um, public schools in Canada, um, you know, any student can register from that regional area. So uh, those are open to all and every student in that area. Um, whereas at private schools, we have a pre-selected group of students who are very academically focused. And like I was saying, these are students that have um, have come from uh, far away um, mm -hmm. and all have, a, have a, a common interest there. So um, in terms of the public government funded schools, they're not actually um, annually inspected like we are. 
we have an annual inspection uh, by the province of Ontario. So mm -hmm. we're held to very high standards and they look at our building, our teachers, what they're teaching, everything. Um, mm -hmm. So it's very uh, highly, highly inspected. Um, and then in terms of class sizes too, typically in public schools, you will find larger classrooms or larger class sizes. So 30 plus students in one class. Um, whereas at a uh, private school and specifically at our school, we have uh, smaller class sizes, maybe five to 15 students per class. Um, so the teacher to student ratio provides that more individual attention. Um, and we also offer a very flexible academic year. Um, public school offers 10 month academic year, which I will explain mm -hmm. uh, in this next slide. So our intake uh, schedule goes from September to April. That's for our OSSD academic year. So September to April, you take eight classes. So um, four classes in semester one, and then another four classes in semester two. And then you see here, there's May and June and July and August. So those are two mm -hmm. separate spring and summer semesters where you can take additional English and math classes, either to improve your grades uh, from previous semesters, or you can get ahead um, and uh, complete maybe Maybe you're in grade 11 and you want to get ahead on a grade 12 credit or grade 12 subject. You can do that in spring or summer um, to get ahead for next year. And then we have the intake schedule for IB academic year. So this means from September to June, 10 months. Mm -hmm. um, they are That's a two-year commitment for the IB program. And then they have July and August as the summer break. The Ontario Secondary School Diploma, if you uh, have never heard of that before, it's the Canadian High School Diploma, um, and it's a very uh, reputable, uh, very highly uh, uh, recognized diploma uh, for many international universities. So uh, many of our students that go through this program will go to not only Canadian schools afterwards, but they'll go to the U.S., the U.K., Australia, um, and it's recognized there as well. Um, so basically this is just a couple, um, a bit of information about, uh, how many service hours you need to complete, um, and how many courses you need to graduate. So community service, um, like I said, we're, because we are so centrally located, the students will have, uh, be able to meet many other Canadians and local businesses when they're doing their volunteer hours, which is a great opportunity and great for your resume. Our International Baccalaureate Diploma Program. So this is uh, the two-year program for grade 11 and grade 12 that's optional. You don't have to take the IB program. You could also just do the grade 11 and grade 12 Canadian program. Um, these are some of the subjects that we offer uh, for our program. So you take six subjects, uh, the same six subjects throughout the two years, and then you have three um, core um, subjects. So the extended essay, theory of knowledge, and CAS. I won't go into great detail about that right now, but if you do have questions, again, you can ask uh, your way. Thank you. So um, OSSD versus IB. Um, the difference, the main difference between the two programs when you're looking at them, uh, so the Ontario Secondary School Diploma, I would say is much more flexible and offers um, uh, you know, an ex, uh, express six to eight month program, mm -hmm. uh, grade 12 pre-university year, and you can join at any grade level. The IB program, as I said, is a two-year commitment. So um, you have to start in year one, year two, uh, and complete those 10 months each year, um, starting September and ending in June. Uh, you can come in if for the OSSD, any level of academic abilities, um, you know, there's no, um, you know, requirement there and mm -hmm. any level of English as well. Uh, so the IB program, I would say, is definitely for academically advanced students who want to be challenged with educational focus on international open-mindedness. Um, they also do require a high level of English, um, so an IELTS score of a uh, minimum of six is needed for the IB program. Both programs are great for uh, university acceptance. I would say the one benefit to the IB program 
um, is that many uh, universities recognize the IB program and see it as almost like completing a first year of university because they those classes are so academically demanding. So what some universities will do is actually allow you to skip into the second year of university mm -hmm. Um, once they see if you have a certain uh, grade level um, mm -hmm. in the IB program. And so that's a, a huge benefit to some uh, students that are looking to maybe um, get through university quicker. Um, so that's uh, definitely an advantage and something to think about with the IB program. We also offer a STEM program. So that is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. And so this is typically um, not necessarily classes, but more extracurricular. Um, and this group of students would compete in math and science competitions, robotics competitions, and business competitions throughout the year. Our student life um, accommodation. So we just five minutes uh, walking down the road uh, is our um, uh, accommodation. So we offer single rooms, double rooms, uh, triple and quadruple. Um, there's a dining hall in there, a study room, entertainment hall, 24-hour security uh, with a supervisor there at all times, um, internet access, laundry, and cleaning facilities um, are based in there as well. Our Leah Care Plus program. So this is for students who are age 16 and under. Um, so they um, in our boarding facility. So basically what this provides is extra academic attention and support, security, supervision, and health plan, and then a pro after school program that is uh, mandatory uh, for those students that are in this program. Um, we have a student meal plan. So basically your card gives you access to three meals per day and you have different mm -hmm. vendors and restaurants actually to choose from. So it's not just cafeteria food. There is a cafeteria, but you can also choose from local restaurants that are um, situated around the school uh, very closely within the market across the street. And lots of different um, styles of food. We have uh, Mexican, Chinese, Portuguese, uh, soup, salad, sandwiches, uh, and fresh fruit smoothies. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting. Just some of our student clubs. Um, and if there's not something on this list uh, that interests you, you can start your own club. And a lot of students, um, you know, each year start new clubs. Uh, and that's great for your resume to show that you were, you know, the founder or the, you know, you uh, started mm -hmm. the president uh, of a club that you started at uh, our school. Um, so, but these are just a list of a few um, of the clubs that you can join. Uh, we do have athletics. Um, we don't have competitive teams, but we do have um, a variety of recreational uh, sports and activities that the students can join during their time here with us. Um, some yearly activities that we do that um, you can look forward to are International Week, which is a week where we celebrate different cultures every single day. So day one might be Africa, day two might be Asia, day three might be Eastern Europe. Um, and we bring in food, music, dance every day, and we celebrate that uh, culture. And so um, this caters to our um, IB program with the um, international open-mindedness, uh, mm -hmm. where we learn about other people's cultures and we are open to learning about everyone's background um, and receiving them equally. Um, and so that uh, just shows that, yeah, our school is very much minded that way. And then um, some other yearly activities that we have, a ski trip, a leadership camp. Um, yeah, just to name a few. <laughs> and so uh, the other important thing I want to talk to you about is our Canadian University Connections. So uh, we have um, uh, Canadian University recruitment officers uh, that come into LEA for presentations every year. So this is a chance for students to ask the university recruiter questions. It's a chance for students to see all of their options. Um, and then on top of that, we have an on-campus guidance counselor. And so this guidance counselor will help uh, connect students to universities, provide scholarship information, and help with application and admission procedures. So um, the guidance counselor uh, 
provides instructional workshops, how to apply to post-secondary institutions. Um, he'll provide one-on-one -on -one meetings um, with you to make sure that you're on track for graduation. Um, hosting university representatives, like I said, um, to come in and give you more opportunity to see what is available to you. These are some different pathways that are grade 12 um, students. So if you're doing your final year here with us, this is some of um, an example of a pathway that you would take if you were interested in business, for example. Um, let's go to engineering because this is a more, um, uh, there's more courses that are needed. So in Canada, universities are, you, there's no entrance examinations required. So there's no SAT test. There's no Cambridge assessment tests, nothing like that. They just look at your grade 11 and grade 12 marks, specifically your top six courses from grade 12. So basically what that means is that you have to take specific courses to get into the program that you want to in university. So for example, if you want to go into engineering, the required courses for you to take are English, advanced functions, calculus and vectors, chemistry and physics. And if you don't have one of those courses, likely you won't be accepted into the program. So these are required. Those are That's what they're looking for. Um, then you have related courses, which are not necessarily mandatory, but these are some courses that you can take at our school additional. Um, so computer engineering, computer science, and then you have other elective courses, um, some extracurriculars that you could join if you were looking at engineering um, at our, you know, after graduating with us would be the STEM Robotics Club, 3D Printing Club, um, and CAD and Engineering Manufacturing Club. Um, and some of our graduates where they've been accepted to uh, for engineering programs is University of Toronto, Waterloo, McGill, um, and some other universities there uh, for engineering uh, pathways. So that just gives you an idea of the exact courses that you'd be taking if you want engineering. And so we have the same thing here for, for science, um, what's required uh, for, for those programs, humanities, um, art and design, just to give you an idea. Um, so our fee structure, um, we can go over quickly, but uh, we actually have a special um, package price that we are offering. Um, through your way. So um, I will review that in a minute. I'll first tell you about our scholarships as well. So um, basically, this will provide you an automatic scholarship um, if you go through your way um, to our school. So um, we have tuition scholarships up to 50% off tuition. And yeah, I will just quickly go through here um, some of our alumni success stories. Um, you can see uh, where they are from and where what universities they got accepted into and where they ended up going. So I'm going to now show you the um, plan here. So we offer a very flexible um, payment plan. Uh, which I will show you. I don't know if it's opening here. Okay. Maybe it won't open, uh, but... Okay, we'll, we'll skip that for now. Um, one thing I'll show you as well is um, our summer programs options. So this is uh, one option is our summer language or STEM camp program. Um, I would say this is more for groups. Um, so if there is a group um, of 10 students, this would be a great option. Um, otherwise, uh, this program here is an eight week summer high school program. So you can come in July and August and experience high school in Canada. If you're worried about leaving home for the first time or you're not sure if boarding school is right for you, this is an opportunity for you to uh, test out two classes. So you'd be taking two classes throughout the summer. So English or math 
or two Englishes, two maths, um, whatever you choose. And uh, you'd be doing that and also experiencing a bit of Canada, doing some trips um, and just kind of living life. Uh, yeah. In boarding school and seeing how that is. Um, and you have nothing to lose there because um, so you don't actually get any necessarily credits for this. Um, you'll get a certificate of completion, but um, this is just a great opportunity for you to see what it's like to be here in Canada in a boarding school setting. Oh, sorry, Nuno, I think you're muted there. Yes. Oh, there you um, uh, about the, the summer programs, the, the students can take the IELTS, for example, in the summer or in the, in the group program or in this program you, you just described, the four weeks, um, the eight weeks, sorry, yeah, high the school eight week, program. Yeah, the eight week high school program, uh, they can take academic English. So you mm -hmm. can take you know, uh, grade nine, 10, 11 or 12 academic English and same goes for math. So mm -hmm. uh, math. You can take, um, yeah, academic math courses mm -hmm. um, and improve your English too. So you could use the summer months as a opportunity to work okay. on your English, and just be in a Canadian setting like that. And the language camp, you should, uh, uh, you can apply for um, if, if we have some, uh, just one application or we just need to have a group, for example. How can yeah. we... The summer programs would be a group, so there'd have group. to be at least, uh -huh. yeah, at least 10. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, 10 okay. students to join that. Yeah. Um, sorry, the... the it's not... Yeah, the one... The Maybe I, I will open. try to... Yeah, you can try uh, and open if you want. Yeah, I will... Yeah, it's not showing here. Yeah, something went wrong with, um, with the uploading, I don't think. Um, yeah. That's okay. Yeah, it's not an internet, so maybe sorry. I'll uh, I'll use this time also to show a quick video um, of London, Ontario. Of London. So that would um, be I was great. gonna I was gonna show this earlier, but um, here's a quick video of um, yeah, just a overview of London, Ontario. London because it's a beautiful city and also because it's famous name London but in Canada. I chose London, Canada because I fell in love with the country and its people and I wanted to practice my French. It's a nice small community and it's such a great place for me to learn English. I love the culture here. I love the people. There's so many cultures here. There's so many different backgrounds. It sort of feels like in London you really know everybody because people are very nice to you. I chose London, Canada because it would be a great place for me to study to get into university. I chose London, Canada because of the Western University so that I can apply my research skills into our industry. I chose London, Canada because it's a great city and this is where I found my professional career. I chose London, Canada because there's a community here that welcomes me. London, Canada is actually a place which accepts everybody. They are so receptive even though you come from a foreign country and they just mingle with you. The city's like, it's amazing. It's safe, quiet, and simply I fall in love with it. I love London, it's my second home. I never ever had the feeling that I'm homesick. Never feel like lonely. Everything here just provides me the feelings of being at home. And I think this is a great, great thing to say about the city that you consider this your home. My most favorite thing about uh, to do in London, Canada would be playing in the snow. I go crazy when I see snow. One of my favorite places in London, Canada is the Covent Garden Market. I like going there, I like shopping there. There's so many ethnic restaurants that you can go and eat at. 
I like the atmosphere there, I like people there, I like everything. My favorite thing to do in London, Canada is playing golf in the summertime. It's just awesome. My favorite thing to do in London, Canada is actually going to the park. The Victoria Park, I think it's really beautiful. Especially how beautiful it is in the summertime. With the blue sky and the clean air, everything was just quiet as in a fairy tale. It's just, it's beautiful. I love it, it's amazing. Great. So I hope that gives you a little perspective on the city. Um, and yeah, it's a, a great place to be. I've lived here. I'm here myself. The other thing is to, um, you know, uh, as parents, uh, you know, we, you want to be connected uh, with your, your, your child. Um, and I understand it's a, it's a big deal to, to send them abroad, especially somewhere so uh, far. Um, but please know that we are just uh, one contact away. Uh, we, me and my team are on WhatsApp um, and we, you know, we'll be sending photos to you of them uh, when they're, you know, around the school and in classes um, and connecting with you um, as much or as, as, as you want. Um, so we are always on call there and uh, just know that, yeah, you have that connection uh, because we are a smaller school. That's what, that's the kind of service that you will uh, be getting with, uh, with this school. Thank you. Thank you, Vanessa. Just one, one last question. Yes. I found it very interesting. The, um, the boarding being on, in the center and the students have the, the, they can choose uh, the restaurants. I, I'm, this is very unique. Because one of the, you have a Portuguese uh, restaurant. Mm -hmm. One of the, the for us, for, from Portugal, from Spain, one of the complaints is the food is not, because the food in our countries is very fresh and yes. it's, very, it's different. Yes. High and quality, sometimes yes. students go to, to England or United States or Canada and they complain a little bit about the food. And this yes. is important for your well being. Um, um, the food you take. So I think this is very interesting. The student can select and it's not a menu every day. This mm -hmm. kind of the same thing. The same students complain in some schools. But they say, okay, this, the, the food is not, it's not bad. It's good, but it's all every day the same. So I think I love this variety and the fact they can, they can leave, um, they can go and, and pick the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, mm -hmm. describe a little bit more about the, the student life and, and how they connect with them with the city and what they can do uh, around the boarding facilities yeah so you know although we are very centrally located we do have obviously some you know things in place though we do encourage students to you know always be with someone or you know not mm -hmm. because it's not safe but we just it's it's just better that sure. way um and uh yeah i mean being around here the students have access to so many different um things like local parks here if they want to you know um just be in a in a park setting and just beautiful trees and rivers everywhere um or if they want to do some uh, there's like a shopping mall movie theater um they can go to the biggest library in london uh mm -hmm. located here um in the city. Um, they can go to the Covenant Garden Market. They can go to like, there's walk-in clinics if they need to go. Um, obviously we will help, um, help them get there um, as well, but everything is so centrally located that um, students, yeah, have that flexibility to get their meals. Um, and yeah, just build that independence before going to university. Mm -hmm. A lot of our students, when they graduate, they say, wow, I feel so, I felt so prepared. Like when they're in university or college, they're like, they, they come back to us and say, I, I, it was easy. You know, I was already ready for it because I was experiencing a bit of that at the school as well. Um, so yeah, I think that's a, that's something different about our school as mm -hmm. well. And we really do prepare our students for um, what's to come after high school. And for example, last question, we do tend to have students with, um, they play sport. Uh, for example, now we have um, one of the families um, that I'm going to show uh, on this presentation. And uh, their son does fencing, for example. And I saw a fencing photo in your, 
in your mm. presentation. For if they want, if they find a local club, um, can yeah. the school help them making fencing or or high sk uh, skating or or can yeah. can the students mm -hmm. use the city um, for their for for clubs and for finding their activities they pursue already uh, mm -hmm. in their home countries. Exactly. And, and because we only offer recreational, sometimes students are looking for something a bit more competitive or they're mm -hmm. looking for a very specific sport. Um, and that is absolutely okay to, to do outside of the school. Um, we can help facilitate getting them connected with either a local sports team or something that, uh, you know, they can, they can do, yeah, fencing or they can mm -hmm. do um, horseback riding um if that's something that they're interested in we can connect them uh with that thank you and do yeah sure per perfect so from our right. end just to again our slide um it's not something okay i cannot put our slide just uh, the contacts so if you are oh, free to you. contact your way um oh here we are okay so again, just our contacts, it's simple info, youreducation.pt.su or .com.br and we can connect you with the school, we can set up a meeting with, with Vanessa to, to talk with you and your special, um, you know, special uh, characteristics for your program and I'm sure this is a great school and thank you Vanessa for being here with us. Yes, helping um, to present this school. No problem. <laughs> Thank you very much for, for having Thank me. You. And I look forward to speaking uh, with many of you later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vanessa. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.